Hey guys, welcome back to Genius Learning. So let's take a look at another physics one problem. Um, it's gonna be, so the question goes, uh, we have a rhino, which is at the origin of the coordinate at t equals zero. So, not sure why they chose a rhino, but the rhino's here at the origin at time equals zero. So they're giving us I'm gonna write my givens here. So I like to separate what's given first so that everything is clear. So we have at T1, right? The, the rhino is here, this is T equals one. And we have a coordinate system, which is Y direction and the X direction. All right, and so for the interval from T equals one to t equals two is 12 seconds. So we know that t equals two is 12 seconds. All right, the rhino's average velocity has an x component of negative 3.8 meters per second. So we have the average velocity of, that has an x component. So this is the average velocity in the x direction is negative 3.8 meters per second and the velocity in the y component is 4.9 meters per second. Let's see, all right, so this is everything that's given. All right, so the question. So we got here, A, what is, let's see, uh, what are the x and y coordinates of the rhino? So the x and y coordinates Right, of the rhino so and then B how far is the rhino from the origin so let's just write it down so how far is the rhino from the origin Cool. So, we get all right. Let's see. So first, um, let's take a look at velocity. All right, we we're given that the average velocity is this for the x component and this for the y. All right. So we're doing a right now, and first of all, we need to know the formula. So for velocity x, right, it's gonna be x2 minus x1 over t2 minus t1. This is the average, all right? So if it was just x over t, that's an instantaneous velocity. For example, if I'm traveling across this whole region here, right? And uh, let's say I'm changing speeds, you know, 10 miles an hour, 20, back down to eight, seven, and maybe 15. The average velocity over the whole span is what we're talking about right now. So you take your last position, your first position, the time it took you to get there and the time from the original position. Subtract and you'll get an average velocity of this entire region. The difference between that and instantaneous is that if I just do V is equal to X over T, right? Then at a certain X, at a certain point, like right there, I will know the position and the time there, and I'll know the velocity there. But it doesn't mean I know the velocity here or here. Remember, this thing is speeding up and slowing down as it goes. And so particularly here, you'll know what the velocity is. That's the difference between this and this. So just, just some notes on that. All right, so let's write x1, x2. So this is just an example, so you can, you can ignore that now. All right, so here we have this formula and then for the vy, it's the same thing. We got y2 minus y1 over t2 minus t1. All right, so let's use that. For the first one, we have, so let's do Vx, right? We have 
the we want to find the position right because we want to find the x and y coordinate of where the rhino is we know he started here and we know 12 seconds later he is somewhere we also know that the average velocity in the x was negative 3.8 and the, the velocity of the rhino in the y is 4.9 but it doesn't tell us where he's at and so we need to look for x2 and y2 which is going to be our coordinate of where he's at next because x1 and y1 is at the origin so we have x2 which we don't know minus x1 is zero we start at the origin t2 we know is 12 seconds and t1 is zero given to us from the problem and so now we have let's just write it all over so vx is equal to x2 over 12. okay so i'm just writing this is equal to all this as the formula right and then this is equal to this which is the same thing but with things plugged in now i'm rewriting it again and we're left with only this so let's rearrange let's put the 12 on this side and so now we're going to have vx times 12 equals x squared separate that out so this is what we have which is perfect this is what we want let's, uh, let's use another color okay so hold on to this and if we want we we'll, let's just plug in this number now so v in the x is negative 3.8 and then times 12 equals x squared and that is negative uh, 45.6 meters because that's the unit for position is equal to x2 so we found one of the coordinates All right and now let's find the other one so we have here I'll write it down here so we have uh, vy is equal to y2 which we're trying to find y1 is 0 T2 is 12 seconds and T1 is zero. So again, something like the top one, we got Y2 over 12. Let's pass the 12 over. We got VY times 12 is equal to Y2. So we know that VY is 4.9. So let's put 4.9 times 12 equals y2 and plug those into the calculator you're going to get uh, let's see 58.8 again that's meters and this is for y2 so now we have the two coordinates and we have no space so let me get another sheet Move this to the side and make sure you can still see it. Yeah, okay, right there. All right, so let's see. We got X and Y um, coordinates. So let's draw this over here, right? And let's see where we're at. Let's see where the rhino's at. Because apparently he's somewhere and we know exactly the coordinates now. So we can go, so the setup is uh, x, y. So we're gonna have negative 45.6 comma 58.8, that's in meters. So negative 45 in the x is somewhere, let's say right there, negative 45 this way, and then in the y direction up 58 point something. Let's say it's there, okay. Um, so he's here now, draw a little circle, okay, so he was here, now he's here, creating a distance in the middle, right, so the rhino traveled from here, all the way here, and we want to know now 
So we got the X and Y coordinates, right? How far is the rhino from the origin? So what distance is this? All right, and for that, we got distance formula. Okay, I think this is from um, trig or algebra, Cal 1. So you might have seen this. You have um, x2, so you have x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, All right? It's pretty simple. Plug things in. All right, we're gonna have d is equal to, we have the value of x2, right, which is negative 45.6 meters, uh, minus x1, so minus zero squared. We found y2, so it's 58.8 meters, minus y1, which is zero, everything squared, and then calculator action, and we got 74.41 meters. So that's how far the rhino traveled in this direction here, like that. So 74.41 meters. That's how far the rhino is away from the origin. It doesn't mean that that's the path he took. Okay, so there's a difference. Velocity is giving you the magnitude and the direction. And the magnitude is uh, the distance from the origin. So the distance from the origin to the left, the distance from the origin up here to the right, um, and they describe the, um, the position and direction. So this is just the distance that he is right now away from the center, but not, um, doesn't mean it's the path he took. So we have the distance and the coordinates. Okay, hope this helped. Please subscribe and uh, comment below. Thank you guys.